cancer. The word itself scares people and most of them, because of the hearing the word, are left into a confusion. Today, let us try to look into which cancers are very common in India and are they preventable. You'll be surprised to know that 70% of cancers which happen to men can be prevented. Before we go there, do you know which are the common cancers? In India, oral cavity or the head and neck cancers are very common in men, followed by lung cancer and prostate cancer. And when it comes to women, it is breast cancer followed by cervical cancer. And when we talk about these cancers, the oral cancer, the lung cancer, the predominant cause for them is tobacco related habits. It could be smoking, it could be chewing tobacco and combined with it alcohol. And as you all know that staying away from them would prevent around 70% of cancers. Coming to females, breast cancer in India is increasing in proportion and it is one of those cancers where screening as a tool comes in handy. While as for cervical cancer, getting HPV vaccination can prevent cancer. These vaccinations which are available decrease the risk of cervical, not only cervical cancer, but also the oropharyngeal cancer and penile cancer. So how do you come to know about? Now cancer is something predominantly a disease of the old age. The common signs and symptoms which could be there and which would have gone away inside a week, if they prolong, they would result into kind of a suspicion of cancer. For example, if there is ulcer in the mouth, on the tongue, or on the gingiva buccal sulcus, or on the buccal mucosa, which does not heal within two or three weeks, please visit your doctor, either a dentist, or an oncologist, or a NET surgeon for that matter. Get the ulcer examined, and the doctor will take a call whether a biopsy is required or not. A cuff which does not go away within four weeks time needs to be investigated whether it could be TB or it could be because of the cancer. A lump which is in the body which does not go away within three to four weeks and which is non-painful especially needs to be again looked into. So these are some of the common signs and symptoms for the head and neck cancers. While as for females, any postmenopausal bleeding needs to be investigated. Cancer is curable especially if treated early. And as I mentioned, the signs and symptoms may not be very unique to cancer. Those which are common, if they don't go away within a specified period of time, you need to visit your doctor and find out the reason for those signs and symptoms. Thank you.